truth does not strike all minds in the same way. Truth does not strike all minds in the same way. The important thing to us is to seize the truth, which does strike us. When I got born again, the only thing that hit me was for the first time in my life, Ricky, I saw sin. Now, you knew me before I said, I, was mean, I, I could be a mean son of a gun. You, you know it. I was one, oh, gee, you have no idea. Oh, there's no way, brother. No, you don't. I'm glad you, don't, you didn't know me because I wouldn't have liked you. I'd have cussed you out inside your church. You think I cared about anything? It didn't make no difference at all. But when the truth struck me in a hotel room and then into a bathroom in Boston, Massachusetts, it struck me in a way that it opened my eyes. And for the first time, I saw sin. Now, the night before, we were just, well, I mean, we jamming in there, boy, just kicking. Whoo! And then the next night, I go, where am I? What am I doing? All of a sudden, I could hear like I never heard before. See, truth does not strike all minds in the same way. The important thing to us is to seize the truth which does strike us. So all of a sudden, I wanted everything God had. So <laughs> being a baby Christian, I stole my first Bible. Because I was still used to, you know, I never thought about stealing as bad, you know. It just got, it happened to get in my hand, which is dumb, but I mean, you know. And what it was, it was a Gideon Bible in the hotel room. But see, you can't steal a Gideon Bible. I thought you could. They give it, they want you to take it. So, I, I mean, we've blessed the Gideon since then, you know. We sent a big donation. I told them, I stole your Bible. They said, oh, no, no, you can't steal our Bible. I said, look, man, I stole your Bible. I said, I'm just trying to be a blessing. You can buy some other Bible for other people. And that was, my, that was my school of theology. Without a Pharisee, without a Sadducee, or a Zealot. Me, the Holy Ghost, and Kathy. And I began to read. In my eyes, I went from like 2200 to 2020. And ears that could hear. And I was being guided, even though it was a baby spirit. It was a good soul. It was a good spirit. And I said, I, I, I want this. And I got an insatiable thirst for the word of God, see. And when you understand that, I mean, I, I began to let people know. And I wasn't embarrassed to tell people, I, I got saved. I don't know from what. I, I couldn't really verbalize what, what, all I knew something had happened. And I ran into all kinds of religiosity. Thank God I didn't have to unlearn stuff. I remember when I first walked in, a man said, your hair is too long. I said, well, you don't have any. How do you know? <laughs> of course, you know, when you, you got in my face, I, I had to learn. You got to understand, I said, you pop at me, I'm going to pop at you. I had a little Donald Trump in me. You understand in those days? You, you say to me, I'm, I'm, I'm a counterpuncher. You see, you, you, you want to you, you dance? <clears throat> okay, let's dance. You know what I'm saying? But as I grew older, I learned to walk in love. You know, but I believed in healing. I said, Lord, I'm going to do it. Just break the leg and you can heal it. <laughs> I mean, a baseball bat will do that. I don't care how big the man is. Baseball bat will take his kneecap off. You understand what I'm saying? And I could do that and smile. And then put my hand, oh, Jesus, heal him. I know that sounds crazy, but I was a baby. I was a baby Christian. You got to give babies time to grow up. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and thank God that the Lord helped me to grow up. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, I began to find dissension in the church. All kinds of people mad about this. You know what? They were wayside people. They were shallow people. You didn't pray for me today. Well, suck it up. Get what the Word of God has to say concerning. What the Word of God has to say. Now, I believe in prayer. Don't misunderstand me. But my God, your salvation should never be how you uh, have somebody make you feel bad about something. See, I don't, I don't allow any kind of junk for me to hate someone. I refuse to be offended. I will not do that. Now, there are things in life that nobody understands, and we understand that. But, you know, if any man lack wisdom, I go to the Word. Well, I'm not going to get mad at somebody because, you know, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. So I go to the throne and say, Lord, I need some wisdom concerning this. I want to know why this worked that way and why this and that. And you know, if you stay there long enough, you get all of it. 
Write this down. Beware of idle curiosity crowds. They come only for self-seeking motives. There's a lot of people want to get around me so I can open up doors for them. When I open up the doors for them, because I live a holy, holy life, then they walk away from me. Then they want what I have. And they sneak around and try to get it. You know, and what they don't need to do, all they got to do is just ask God to give it to you. Why would God give me something and not give you something? That would make him a respecter person, wouldn't it? Yeah. Why do some people die? Well, I don't, I don't know. I want everybody healed. But I know one thing, if they believed in healing, and they were Christian, when they got to heaven, they were, uh, they healed. Now, I would prefer it to be here. I mean, my good friend Jerry Savelle, why'd he leave? I mean, I need Jerry. He was my friend. He was like a brother to me. But he, he hasn't passed. He's arrived. Yes, amen. So I'm rejoicing instead of going, hey, hey. I'm rejoicing. You got there, son. And one day I'll see you again. Do you see what I'm saying? That's what I mean by growth. Good soil. I, I want people praying for Most people don't pray for me. Or for Jesse can handle it. Don't shout me down when I'm preaching good. Listen to me. Oh, you know, he got there. He don't make no difference. Hmm. And I don't get mad about that. I don't get my feelings hurt about it. You know what I'm saying? I just go to the word. And sometimes I say what Jesus says, forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. Notice I use the word forgive instead of kill them, Jesus. <laughs> now, sometimes, let's face it, sometimes you, don't, you, you want to kill them. You want to slap them. Come on. Am I telling the truth? Just shake your head. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I mean, we're all human. But see, beware of the curiosity crowds. They come only for self-seeking motives. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.